Well, if there's one thing you can guarantee from Rob Quinn's young Palace side, it's goals. No one else in the league has stopped them from scoring this season, but they come up against the toughest of away tests this afternoon. Arsenal, the opponents today. And Arsenal come away with it through Edwards. Here's Kozy Jubri. Cross is blocked, but it's loose in the area. Falls for Sago. It's deflected and in. And Arsenal take an early lead. And once again, Palace will have to do it the hard way. Ozo turns away well and can come away through midfield. He finds Ola Adebomi and there's a break on for Palace here. The ball into Raymond is a good one. Here's Raymond. That's the equaliser. Jaden Raymond applied the finish. But it was a great team move from Crystal Palace, started by David Ozo. And Ola Adebomi did so well to pick out Raymond. And one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Was he ever going to miss? Flores has battled well with Raymond and Arsenal have the ball back. Here's Four coming forward now, Kozia Jubri. It's all the way out to Sweet. There are bodies coming forward. And one of them is Flores. Well, it's an acrobatic celebration because Flores has put Arsenal back in front. Barton's cross is deep. It can't find Ola Adebomi. Here's Cadogan. And now Mooney! Finn Mooney makes it 2-2. And this is turning into a thrilling game. Three goals in just five minutes. And Finn Mooney scores his first goal of the season and Palace are back level again. Cadogan finds Rodney Palace building slowly into Raymond that's nice footwork from Jaden Raymond it's a stunning solo goal and for the first time in this game it's Palace who lead Raymond was surrounded by bodies in red and white but he worked the space for the shot and now Palace have a lead to protect Final few seconds here. And that's it. Time's up for Arsenal. Palace take a crucial three points, but goodness me, they were forced to fight for it. You can see just how much it means to Rob Quinn and his players and staff. And it finishes here. Arsenal 2, Crystal Palace 3.